he is on the short list of the greatest featherweights of all time, but Max Holloway has goals beyond that. DC, you know he trains at 185, 190 pounds. Going to be very interesting to see how far Max Holloway can take this here in the UFC. He's one of the best fighters, as you said. He's one of the best featherweights of all time, and it's because of his preparation and his attention to detail. When he made his UFC debut, he had hiccups, but he went back to the lab and he fixed those things, and it showed in a massive 13 fight win streak that had him winning the featherweight championship and defending it on multiple occasions. Max Holloway is truly one of the best fighters in the entire organization. And what he did in that two fight series with Jose Aldo is something that history is gonna look back upon very fondly. Max Bless Holloway back in another big spot here tonight. Max Holloway steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov set to fight Max Blessed Holloway. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Blast Holloway. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! <laughs> Referee Herb Dean will handle the action in the octagon. Well, he turned pro when he was just a baby, but almost instantaneously realized UFC success. At one point, 10 consecutive wins in the UFC, realized the UFC... Oh, nice double leg, yes. Right side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. We need you to use that wrist control. Early connection with the left from the champ. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmago Meta. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Defense. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. You got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Oh, a huge block there. 
with under three minutes now to go on the round. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. All the way gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, you gotta think frustration is starting to set in on the other side as he lands another takedown and is going to get a lot of this offensive wrestling as yet he's been unable to stop. He has not been able to stop it, and it's a different wrestling. It's a Damian Maya type of wrestling where they get close to you. They hook their feet. They drag you to the mat knowing that once you're on the ground, now you're really in trouble because the takedown is only a part of the danger. The Marco Medoff's now trying for the Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. <laughs> round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut on his cheek. I'm just saying, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> See why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do. Not much behind the takedown offering there. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he drops the level, shoot this shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Immediately gets the underhook. Big knee lands to the body. Wow, you go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the The moment they can't close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. The ground strikes continue to pile up. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Working out of the half guard here. <laughs> there it is, now he's going the mouth. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Nermago Medov's going for an arm here. Oh, that's tight. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You uh, never want uh, to value the submission for uh, keeping dominant position. Great job, Lester. Same thing this way. The ground control is unbelievable. I've never seen somebody with such control down there. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again, control. He did it perfectly. You ready? To fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Now he's going full mount. Marmago <laughs> Menoff's trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. To his feet. Nermago Medov gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, the fighter's gonna have to address this offense coming his way. He's getting really bloody around that eye. Yeah, now it's just become a big target because his opponent is just seeing the blood and he's just going after it. He has got to move his head before the strike starts coming in his direction. Back and forth we go. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's... That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Big elbow! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and round. Namako Medov's back in half goal. Oh, right into Mount. Nice positional control here. Mm, that was nice. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He's secured the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. This has got to be the end of the fight. It's over. It's work. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Grounded pound strike there now. He pinned his arm. He's got him in a crucifix. Final seconds of round three. You got to go Holloway's eye now closing up. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight? Ready. 
All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to fix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Nermago Benoff gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Oh, he's has to half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Right to side control, yep. Get the ball here. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Attacking armbar. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number four. For the winner, by submission, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one here tonight, and... When you get to the ground with this guy, caution flammable. Absolutely. I mean, he's one of those guys that really can dominate you if you aren't careful. And that's exactly what he showed tonight. He gets to his positions. He makes you grapple on his terms. And he does a good job of really controlling.